You've got a couple of brews that you don't know what to do What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot, yes it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, Jonty, the cocktail idiot, and the camera lady. Yeah, I thought you said my name as well. Oh, and the camera lady, Georgie. Yes, thank you. That was perfection, that excellent intro. Right, let's move on. So, today we are going to be making a cocktail called the Clover Club. Woo! I expect <laughs> Sorry, of... I was thinking it was quite an odd way of saying Clover Club. Um, I was a bit distracted. Oh, sorry. Clover Club. Thank you. Woo! Very easy cocktail to make. You don't need many things. The only things you do need are as follows. You're going to need gin. You're then going to need a lemon. You're going to need some raspberry syrup. And I'll tell you how to do that in a jiffy. And then what else? Oh, egg white. Mm -hmm. Prepared earlier. So, the raspberry syrup, really easy to do, just make your normal simple syrup and then at sort of the end chuck a load of raspberries in it and blend it up a bit mm -hmm. and then strain it and voila, raspberry syrup, 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 <laughs> syrup has been produced. Right, let's do cocktail and then we'll do the favourite part of the show. I don't know why I call it a show. Yeah, well, it's interesting. It's developing into one, apparently. Right. So, you're going to take your gin. So, a London dry gin, but it's one of these cocktails. You can use whatever gin you fancy. See what you like. Mm -hmm. Up to you. So, what do we need? 50ml of our gin. So, a double shot. I realise I'm holding my bottle the wrong way round. Oh, yeah. God forbid we have to read the age warning on the back. Age Oh, it's not an age warning. No, I thought it was like a... Isn't it? I thought that's what it was. No, it's like a stamp oh, of approval okay. to be sold in the UK. Shows what you know. Yeah, I know. Right, then you want to take 20ml of your raspberry syrup. In that goes. And then you take your lemon and you want 20ml of your lemon as well. So the same amount as your syrup. There goes the lemon squeezing accuracy. Oh no, I've missed. I've missed badly. 20 minutes of that. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. As many things are in these videos. <laughs> and then you're going to take your egg white. So, if you, I did this to make it easier. But, if you do do your egg white over your cocktail, use your other tin first. My voice is going. Yeah, it is. Good, great. From excitement. <clears throat> so if you put it in the other tin, then if you do get a dodgy egg, or eggshell, you haven't ruined your oh, beautiful it. drink. So, that's all you need. Right, this involves two stages of shaking. We're going to do a reverse dry shake. So, I haven't got a scooper, George. I think I'll live. I'm going to have to use my, my hands. It's all got stuck. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to reverse dry shake. And the reason I do it this way is because your tins then cool down and then you get rid of the ice and then when you shake with the egg, the cold tins make a seal. Whereas they don't really make a seal when you go in warm. Interesting. Ready? Yeah. Smile and shake. Bang it on, and then, 
Not a shake again. <laughs> So no one hears you talk. <laughs> so you can insult me as much as you like in this stage. You're lovely. <laughs> Give it a bang. And then we want a double strain, just in case we've got any bits of ice left over. Mm-hmm. And you should get a nice, Look nice bit froth. of froth. Loads of froth. There we go. And then go on and shit with a few raspberries. <laughs> Sounded very posh. But didn't really sound like a word I recognised, to be honest with you. Raspberries. That's better. Three, two, one, two, mm -hmm. three. And there we have one <laughs> Clover Club. Uh, yes. It's a pretty looking cocktail. Chin chin. <laughs> The video when you get mm -hmm. to sit and learn. So the Clover Club, it actually predates Prohibition, so it sort of came about in the late 1800s. So it's a very, 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 very old cocktail. <laughs> very old. There's no such thing as a very old it's cocktail. Age. Anyway, so the Clover Club was actually a group of gentlemen who used to meet in in the Philadelphia. Uh, in Philadelphia in a hotel mm -hmm. called the Bellarue Stratford Hotel mm -hmm. and this gentleman club uh, I think it was founded about 1882 they'd sit and they'd discuss the affairs of the day what and with that cocktail? manly things <laughs> and and they drink drinks and and this was one of their preferred drink choices <laughs> apparently I think apparently it is mentioned in a book which was written in 1887 um, which does about the Clover Club, mm. and I think it is mentioned in that book. However, it's not first actually published in a cocktail book until 1917, when it's written in The Ideal Bartender by Thomas, I've got to say this Bullock. name right, Bullock. <laughs> right. <laughs> Otherwise we need to censor. Um, but then after then, it sort of disappeared into the existence. Into it, disappeared into existence? Out of existence. Out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of the 20th century, um, as cocktails do, they disappear into the whirlwind that is the many cocktails. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's finally got pushed out again as it started, started re-emerging in modern cocktail books. And then finally in 2008 it was firmly stamped back on the cocktail agenda map. Mm -hmm. The cocktail agenda map, I'm not sure that's really a thing. Oh, we can make it one. <laughs> By uh, Julia Rayner who opened her bar in Brooklyn called the Clover Club. And obviously the Clover Club was on the menu. Not only that, it's an award-winning bar. Not just any bar, an award-winning bar. And it's been listed on, in Drinks International, on the 50 best bars in the world. So you, if you are in the world... And you like the Clover Club, obviously. And you like the Clover Club, That's... go and check out Julia Rayner's bar. I yeah. fell it. Oh. I thought you'd drink this one. Oh, sorry. I'd love to drink it. Thank <laughs> you so, very much. So, that's it. End of history time. And end of the video. Have you got any final words? Well, this one looks really pretty, so I suggest we all get in the sun and have one. Excellent idea. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to do all the things. The like, subscribe, notify, bells. No, share. Share, yeah, share worldwide. And Instagram your pretty pictures. And Instagram your pretty pictures, pictures as Georgie says. <laughs> See you next time.